about 10 years ago, uh, I had hurt my foot. I used to run a lot and I'd hurt my foot and I couldn't, uh, couldn't run for a little while and so I decided I'd come up to the Y and try to learn to swim and swim some laps. Mm -hmm. And as I was in the pool one day, one of the YMCA employees came up to me and said, um, you're really struggling with that swimming, aren't you? And I said, I, I was because I had never really learned to swim correctly. I could keep my head above water, but I'd never learned to swim correctly. And they said, we have a number of a, a man that might be willing to help you learn to swim. And so they gave me his phone number and I called the gentleman and he was uh, in his 70s, but he had been a swimming coach. And he came and he looked at me and he said, oh, you know, you really need some help. And I said, well, will you help me? And he said, well, I'm not sure. He said, but I'm kind of busy, but I'll come in. You show up at the Y tomorrow morning at 5.30. And if you're here and I'm here, I'll work with you. And so I came at 5.30 and he worked with me and he taught me to swim. And I asked him, I said, well, will you help me again? And he said, I'm not sure, but you show up Friday morning at 5.30. And I'm here and you're here, I'll help you. And so that went on for about a year and a half, every morning at 5.30. Uh, he would say, if I'm here and you're here, but he never really committed to helping me, but he taught me how to swim, and I'm grateful to the Y employee that helped me with that because it was a wonderful experience, and I learned to swim very well and swam for exercise for several years, and I, I got to where I could swim um, about three miles, and so it was really a great experience, and my daughter, who's younger, uh, was then decided she loved swimming and joined the swim team at school, and I credit that employee coming up to me and just offering a hand and help out.